Okay, so we're going to look how to set up our motion detection and alarm setting on our Heim Vision network video recording system. So let us start. Now, we're going to right click the mouse or right click the mouse. We have the, the menu, menu slide come down. Now we're going to click on system setup. Then we're going to select channel setup then video detection when we select video detection we can see channel we are in channel 2 detection which is motion we have alarm detection uh, I think this have to deal with the time this is 5 seconds the sensitivity and we are going to look at the IR cut mood which is infrared mood now we can select um how down here we're going to select the alarm operation meaning how do we want to be notified of a motion detection now we have alarm we have buzzer we have email notes notice and we have app alarm so as I said before, we're in, and we need to ensure that the motion um, motion setting is actually enabled. So it's enabled. All right, so we're going to choose, we choose channel 2. Our detection is motion. So we're going to click um, area edit. When we select area edit, what we want to do is to actually, what we want to do is actually um, select the area that we want to be notified. So what we, all the areas right now are actually under motion detection. So we want to clear that. Clear all. So right click and then click select clear all uh, we can or we can fill all so we're going to clear all now by highlighting the squares this is the area that we want to detect motion so by highlighting the squares in the area where we want motion to detect and we want to detect motion right at this window in case this window um, break or somebody break into this window we want to know so we highlight all uh, that window however these areas that are on highlight or, or not highlight we cannot detect any motion right here around here so if somebody comes in this area we won't pick up any motion until th this person breaks the window now you might say to yourself um we want to know if somebody comes close to the window well we can highlight another section right here so when before the person comes to the window we'll be notified in this area that there is motion what if we want to see if somebody opened the window we can actually highlight this side so we have three areas that we are going to be notified of any motion or any intrusion then we're going to right click and it says return then always click apply but before you click up um, select apply we want to enable PRI sensor um, we don't want to get false alarm all the time. So PR center helps to pick up um, body heat of persons that are passing by. So we want to ensure we, we select PR sensor to prevent um, false alert. Now we want to do two things. We want to select buzz. So therefore we want a sound coming from the 
NVR system. There's a speaker inside the NVR system, a built-in speaker, where if anybody pass, we can actually hear the NVR makes makes a sound. Your NVR or your DVR. Well, I'm using an NVR right now. So we can choose our email and our app alarm on our phone. So once we actually select everything that we want to do, maybe we want to decrease or increase the sensitivity of the motion detection. So we're going to click select apply always apply your function then select ok once we have done that we actually we actually enable the motion detection of camera too down here you can tell you um the information what camera had um what camera had experienced some form of motion detection as you can see channel 4 all right double click to return double click to return no so that's it we're going to go to the app later So I'm going to plug the Ethernet cable at the back of the camera like this I'm go and you need to ensure that it's properly secured like this. Ensure that the power cable is properly secured at the back of the camera. Now we're going to look at the back of the NVR where you can see the network port WAN. I'm going to take the next end of the Ethernet cable and plug it in the back of the NVR to program it just like that and so we're going back to the interface to program the so we're back into the interface so we're going to right click again then this this time we're going to go into video management once we're in video management we just click matching code to add the camera now this IP um, camera this IP that you see here is the IP by LAN connection if I add this if I add the camera this way I have to ensure that the camera is connected to the LAN port at all times it cannot run in Wi-Fi in this IP address this is the Wi-Fi IP address so when you want the camera to run wirelessly wirelessly it will run in these IP address 172.20.14 and it will have a different number it won't have the 31 at the end maybe it, it, it would have 33 or 32 but these same these number at the end will be different so this is the like the subnet um, of the wireless wireless IP address however the one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot eighty eight that's the IP address for the LAN itself so if you're going to connect the camera by the LAN port not Wi-Fi it would have this IP address however we want to connect the camera in Wi-Fi mode so what we can do is to click match code click match code and it says please wait and we'll wait for it okay as you can see it's actually processing 
So let's give it a little more time. Thanks for your patience. I don't want to skip out too much of it. It's configuring the camera, so you have to wait on that. See, it's just at camera 4, and the last number at the end is 32. So it still has the same 172.20.14.32. And all the end numbers are different. It's not yet finished, so we're going to give it a little time, because... It's actually programming automatically, so let us give it more time. So, what I said before is that you can actually exit now. Exit the, the settings. So, we're going to click exit. And we, we're going to wait for it to, it says, exiting, please wait. So, we're going to wait for that. Okay, so we're done. And all the cameras, all four cameras are working. I just add the four camera. Right now, camera 4, I just had that. And all you have to do is actually plug out cable from the back of the DVR. Guys, I'm going to show you how to add the wireless camera um by land by the land port all right instead of wi-fi so i'm gonna go into video management then this ip address that i told you about i'm going to add it right so i'm gonna auto add yes yes So I'm going to auto add, add it. Let's give it some time. No, I just added it. No, camera one, camera four, sorry, and five is actually the same camera. Camera four and five is the same camera. Look at this. I want to show you something. I don't know. And both of them are connected um, successfully. So I'm going to click OK. I look at that. Camera 5. This is camera 5. And this is camera. Camera 5. Camera 5. Both of them. Now one of them. This one. Is connected by the land port using the a network cable and you're going to see this signal when you see this signal it represents network cable no this one the same camera if i if you look at the top up here this is the wi-fi strength so you can actually you can actually delete the Wi-Fi um, view and leave the cable view the, the 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 cable view let's say that the cable view so this cable we're using a uh, RJ45 cable RJ45 cable the network cable network cable so this is the network cable um, live stream and this is the Wi-Fi live stream and both of them are the same camera oh. 
What's her name on the same camera? If you hear that beeping sound in the background, that's the NVR um, doing its alarm. Its alarm notification. So I'm going to remove the the camera the cable connection so I'm going to delete it because I just disconnected it it doesn't make sense having the, both of them running so I'm going to delete it and it's deleted and I select OK and just like that we're back in let me show you let me show it to you um, 6 6 to 1 1 to 6 so only 4 cameras I have right now 4 cameras alright so guys on my phone this is the app the name of the app is Heim Kit you can find this in the Google Play Store no this is the app for the security camera system now we're gonna select personal center then settings now we want to ensure that alarm message push is always on that's how we're gonna receive push notification from our NVR to our phone now just looking at the top of the screen we have batteries and the time you're gonna see an icon appear Now that icon just showed me that I have received notification from my security camera system. I'm going to pull down the notification so you can see it properly. So there is the push notification, right? So you select the push notification, then you're in motion detection message, alarm message, and you're going to choose the the motion detection that happened no you have to wait for 30 seconds the video is 34 seconds long so it's downloading the video all right so you have to wait for that so we're, you're going to select the push notification on the notification bar and you can view the playback so as I said before, the video is 30 seconds long and that's my hand moving. Now if you want to view the full video or the full playback of this event, you can choose full video and it will show you the entire video. Now it's easy to operate and it works very well. Alright? So that's it thanks for watching and hope you have learned something if, if you have any question comment below thank you